Good afternoon. My name is George Beer. I am a distinguished engineer in the Enterprise Clinical Technology Division of Optum. Optum is part of United Health Group, which includes the insurance side of the business, or payer side, which is United Healthcare. And then within Optum, we have Optum Health, Optum RX, which is pharmacy, Optum Care, which is our care delivery organizations. Throughout the conference, you may be running into other people either from Optum or United Healthcare. We have a large uh, interest and presence in FIRE. The name of this talk is Smart on FIRE, Enablement of Clinical Applications to Accelerate Solution Delivery. One of the uh, goals of this talk was to try and get the longest title. I did not succeed, unfortunately. There's at least uh, four or five talks that have longer titles than this, which is really quite impressive. The real goal of this community talk is to present one very simple idea that is generating a considerable amount of excitement within Optum. But before I present that idea, I think it's worth it to be just a hair introspective and talk about software reusability. Software reusability has been one of the holy grails of software development. It's got a lot of positives, obviously, which are listed here, it lowers development costs, increases productivity, improves time to market. Within the industry, the software development industry anyway, it's, we've been very successful. Subroutines, libraries, generics, objects, inheritance, there is plenty of reuse within the code, within programming languages. However, distributed computing and remoting have historically been less successful. Have you seen much mention of DCOM, DCOM CORBA, DCE, RPC lately? One noticeable exception is REST. REST seems to be the industry grand slam for APIs as it's taken over the internet. The observation is that Smart on Fire and Fire are a terrific solution for general distributed computing. As we see on the left, Smart on Fire is not just for EHRs anymore. That's the observation. And so if we look on the right here, you can see that with an Optum we are working on Fire and Smart on Fire enabling existing clinical applications as clients to create a library of Smart on Fire micro applications for integrations. And so what this looks like is on the next slide. Here on the left, we have a set of existing UHD Optum UHC clinical applications, such as our oncology application, which provides the NIH guidelines for cancer treatments, our IQ system for utilization management, and many others. On the right, we have our Smartify micro applications. Medication management is the first one shown here, and that is for showing a historical perspective of the prescriptions that this patient has had filled. One can see that this particular information might be useful for many of these applications on the left. Uh, for example, the oncologist who is reviewing the uh, treatment for the current patient would be very interested in knowing what medications have been prescribed in the past. Same thing for utilization management. Uh, prior auth might want to examine whether certain procedures um, or prescriptions have been already prescribed. So in order to support this, we can see that we add a little fire server. And although not shown, we need to also add a launch. That brings us to this diagram here. On the top in blue, we have IQ. That is an internal application intended for UHC users that is used for utilization management. On the bottom in red, we have the EHR. That's a health system external to UHC. In the middle, we have the Smart on Fire web app, medication management. That web app is designed to pull the historical information about the medications for the patient from the UHC individual health record. In addition, when the medication management application is launched, it does a fire query to get the latest set of medications that might only be located within IQ or within the EHR, but have not yet made it into the individual health record. That way, the Smart on Fire web app has the latest information along with the historical information. The only tricky part about this, beyond the fact that this is pretty much a standard Smart on Fire launch and Smart on Fire server, is provisioning. Up on top in blue, we want to provision the roles and permissions for Optum internal users. And down in red, we have external users, which are have different roles potentially and different permissions. 
Here we see a screenshot of the medication management web app. The two big advantages to the technique that was just described in terms of reusability and using Smart on Fire even for our clinical apps such as IQ is that this UI is completely reusable. And as you can see, a considerable amount of effort was put into trying to make an effective UI. A second advantage is that by following FHIR and Smart on Fire standards, there's no need for those applications such as IQ or the other applications shown on the earlier slides to integrate with the IHR. The web app integrates with the IHR one time and then the applications only need to follow FHIR and Smart on Fire standards in order to take advantage of that work. Extending the reach of our clinical applications to our Smart on Fire web app library requires the development of just a few software components. The first one is the development of a standardized app launch library. This allows the clinical application to create a button essentially, or maybe an implicit launch, but then be able to reuse the code in the launch library in order to launch the web application. That way each clinical application doesn't have to write the Smart on Fire launch itself. The second piece is a Fire server library. If you recall the example that I showed earlier, the medication management web app wants to reach back into the calling application and you get the latest set of medications. Finally, we have provisioning. In the case of medication management, we don't necessarily have roles, but one of our more important use cases is prior auth case submission. In the case of prior auth case submission, we have referring provider might be interacting with the app. We have the submitting provider might also be inter interacting with the app. We may have a clerk or admin of some sort that is uh, working on behalf of a provider. And so you can imagine many roles. You may also want to just have someone who can do status lookups and can't actually change any of the information. So provisioning is an important use case, and I'll talk about that very shortly. An important simplification here is that the FHIR server is not general purpose. The FHIR queries are known in advance. There is no need for that little box, that FHIR server, to be a general purpose FHIR server. It only needs to support the query for the web app that it is supporting. So for example, in the case of the medication management web app, the only query it really needs to be able to support is being able to reach back and get the latest set of medications. So in our implementations, we're taking the Happy Fire resource. We're starting with the Happy Fire SDK or library. And then we only need to uh, implement the resource provider to meet the use case. In this case, it's to get the latest set of medications. Getting back to provisioning as promised, that's very much a work in progress. In our world, the internal users are active directory based and managed through corporate processes. External users, roles and permissions are managed by the external clients. We don't want to have to manage those. So in order to support external user roles and permissions, there are many different ways that you might expose the ability for our external clients, the health system in this case, to manage their own user base. For example, they might, we might work on a solution where we pass the role on launch. We could imagine uh, an external application management console where an administrator from the health system can log in and manage their users. You can imagine a client data feeder batch load on a daily basis, or we might imagine um, something with an external API to their um, human resources applications, for example. That concludes my community talk. I hope you found it interesting and also hope that you walk away with the mantra, smart on fire, not just for EHRs anymore. Thank you.